Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Jess with Love to Plan with Jess. Today I have my Happy Planner horizontal layout that I use for work for my full-time job to list out all of the things that I need to get done on a daily basis. We're going to decorate it for the week of July 22nd through the 28th. Uh, these are the incorrect dates. This is a 2023 planner, so I'm going to have to redate it. Uh, but we are going to use Office Chic by Live Love Posh. And I thought that, you know, since this is my work planner, let's use the Office Chic sticker book. And we're going to use these office, uh, like super office looking stickers this time. I think that these will be really fun. And I decided that I'm going to do something a little different as to decorate it. Now, since I have to redate this anyway, um, if you watch my channel, you know that I decoratively date most of my spreads. But for this one, I actually have to redate it because the dates are wrong. Um, I also don't use Saturday and Sunday in this planner because I work Monday through Friday. So... Typically, this whole section is like very decorative, but this time I was thinking that I would do like a whole scene along the bottom here. And since I'm going to be taking Thursday out, like taking this space out, we're going to redate this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we'll do Thursday, Friday up here. So I think that that is the plan. I think that that will be really fun. All right, so let's start by putting some of these stickers down here. Now I really like this one. I definitely want one of the girls, probably this girl in the chair. Um, I think that that would be good. I like this filing cabinet. We can even throw this little trash can in and maybe like an office to create like a super cute scene. So let's do that. We're going to start with this. Uh, let me grab my tweezers to make it a little easier to get these stickers out of the book. Now let's start with this one right there. And I think we'll put, should we put the girl on the chair next or this like desk next? I think we're gonna put the girl uh, on the chair next. So let's put her right here. And I really like this filing cabinet and maybe putting these like above it, but maybe further on the right side of the page. So what are we gonna put right here? Let's see if this like office space will fit. It might not fit in there unless we go right across the spine. We could always do that too. I don't, oh, I like this better. Let's do that one and put that back. Let's use this one. Except maybe over here instead. And maybe we will do the filing cabinet. The only thing is I didn't want to go too much into Wednesday. Um, on this side of the page, we're going to just use this for Thursday, Friday. And I'm actually going to have an extra space up here so I can kind of go into this area a little bit more. Uh, let's just, since I already know that I want to do that, let's put the filing cabinet over here. I'm going to put this here at the end and put this little like shelf above it right here. Oh, I think that's really cute. I like it. How about a little trash can right here? And maybe we'll put this little office scene over here. Like that, and then do we have like a plant? just like a plant by itself. Oh, we do. So there are two, this one's a little bigger, that one's a little smaller. Just trying to decide. I kind of think we want the smaller one. So let's take this. Uh, maybe the bigger one, <laughs> I think. 
I think I changed my mind. Let's do the bigger one. And put that right here. We just need something for this space. Now I did pull this desk and I think that I like that. Let's see if there's anything else. We have a little filing cabinet with like a printer on it. I sort of like that, but we could maybe take the decor like across the spine and do both of these. Let's see. I'm kind of feeling that. Let's put this down first, put this here, and then we'll see if that um, printer will fit. Like that. Um, now let's see if how that's going to look if we put this here. I think it's too much. So we're going to leave it like this. I think this looks super cool. I really like it a lot. I'm just going to clean up the sides. Had a little clear part of the sticker going over there and a teeny tiny part here. I'm just gonna clean up. I really love this. Let's put a little bit of function in next and date it and then we'll see I'll probably stick in a couple more decorative stickers but really like this bottom scene is kind of where all of the decor is going to be so I have summer 2.0 mojo jojo plans uh the office chic box doesn't office chic book doesn't have any boxes in it so I thought that I would use these was it this green that I liked yeah I think so so I thought that this was a good green. There's like kind of a darker green and a brighter green in these stickers. And I think that this one looks okay. What do we think? I think it's good. Let's take this double wide sticker and I'm gonna put it on this side of the page. I like to have um, either a double wide or a double long sticker over on this side of the page. Oh wait. I'm using this as a day, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah. So we're going to have to put it down here. Um, I like to have a double wide or a double long box um, on the right side of the page that I use either as like a brain dump or like an overflow like to-do list. So this is gonna kind of layer over that sticker a little bit. I'm having a hard time getting it straight. No surprise there. Okay, that's cute. And then we could put a header. The only problem is I wasn't going to use any other color. I was just gonna use green. And will it look weird to have like a green header box on here? I could also get black. I don't know, does that look bad? Let me go grab a black header box and see how that looks. This is black boxes and I'll just grab. Yeah, I think that that's better. So we'll just do a little header box here. And let's put in some bullets. So this book does have bullets in it. And I'm just gonna put maybe like three on each day. Um, I tend to do, actually let's just do two on each day. So I'm gonna put tasks on each line every day, uh, but I don't really like the look of having too many bullets on the page. So I usually will just put two or three of them each day and I like how it looks better. So the bullets are not going to signify like a task. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, gonna write on every space in here. And put 
one here and one here and then for Friday. And then I'm thinking I want to have another box or two on this side of the page. So maybe we'll layer like a, this green color with black and I'll do like a box here and then we'll layer a black one above it. And probably bigger than a header box. Maybe like this size. And let's date it. So I'm thinking we can either use green or black. So just looking to see if any of these greens will look good. Not really any of those. Let's see this green. These are all like too bright. So I think we'll just go with black or maybe like a like neutral date it like a beige. I think that they're even in this book. There's yeah, like this color. Oh, or how about gray? Let's do gray. And I kind of like these stacked days. And since I put the bullet down on the third row, there's room for those stacked dates. So let's use those or stacked days of the week. So let's use these. All right, we will take a July sticker. And since this is gray right here, I think we'll go with black, like a black July, if I have one, let's see. I mean, I know I have one in one of these books, but let's see if I have one in this book, I'm not sure. All right, I couldn't find a July um, in this book, so I'm gonna have to go to the just the regular date at 2.0, but we did have a 2024, so I'll put that there. And let's get the gray date. So I said that this week starts on the 22nd. So we have 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, 25th. And the 26th. And then this is the date at 2.0, so there will definitely be a July sticker in here, or a black July sticker in here for sure. Um, we can do the clear one. I know I did a paper 2024 and like everything else is paper, but I don't know that you'll really be able to tell. Oh, except I am gonna cover, have to cover this up. So I'm gonna take my Uniball Signo and just sort of camouflage the July here. All right, and we're gonna give that a second to dry while we kind of survey the spread. Um, I think I'm gonna to wanna to put something decorative up here. But other than that, I don't know that it needs anything else. So let's put this July here. And let's go back to our decorative stickers. I kind of want to put another girl over there, but then I have two girls on this side of the page and none on this side. So I don't know, maybe I can just put a girl over here. Is that super weird? Let's do it. We're gonna put a girl here. And I might put something next to her. Maybe like this. Okay, love that. Now, I don't know if I really need something here. Maybe just a small little thing to go right on this box. 
like a little plant. We can use this plant that I took out before. I think that that'll fit nicely there. And I saw a little tiny coffee cup. Can we put the plant and the coffee cup next to each other? If I can get it out of the book. I feel like sometimes these stickers come out super easily and sometimes I fight with them. I think we can make it work. So we'll put this here and this here. Okay, I love this so much. I would love it more if this sticker was on top of this box. So it's been sitting here for a while, but let's see if we can lift this up and put it on top of the box. Oh, it's actually coming off the page very nicely. Lay that box back down. And then I'm going to cut the sticker out behind, uh, or not the, cut the box out from behind this sticker so that you don't see that green line. So we're gonna cut it right here. And I think right about here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pull this piece up. Okay, so much better. Now I couldn't love this more. <laughs> I really, really like how it turned out. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.